Hello my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are stopping by for the first time, you're most welcome to Acido's Kitchen. And for my returning subscribers, welcome back and thank you so much for your continued support. Today I'm preparing a Kenyan snack known as Vichette or Vichetti. It is commonly found in the coastal regions of Kenya. This snack is also known as Mandazi Bites or Chin Chin as called by those in the western parts of Africa. This snack has many variations, however I am showing you how I make mine. If you'd like to try out different recipes, a quick YouTube search will give you the different options to choose from. I'll mention the ingredients as I use them, but please find the detailed list plus measurements used in the description box below. In a large bowl, I have 4 cups of self-raising flour. I add sugar and nutmeg powder into the flour and mix it to combine. You can also use cardamom powder or cinnamon powder if preferred, so feel free to experiment with different spices. I alternate between cardamom, cinnamon and nutmeg. However, when I use nutmeg, I use a small amount because it has a strong taste. I am using a third cup of sugar but feel free to adjust this to your liking because if you like it sweet, you can add up to one cup of sugar. I don't like mine sweet but my kids love it sweet. So I reduce the amount of sugar when mixing, then I sprinkle icing sugar as needed for people who like it sweet. In a small bowl, I beat an egg with some vanilla essence, set it aside and add the butter into the flour mixture. I proceed to mix the butter into the flour until it is evenly distributed throughout the flour. At this point, I add my egg mixture and mix it well. Once this is done, I slowly start adding the milk. I prefer to use my hands, however, you can use a spatula or a wooden spoon at the start. Then switch to your hands once the dough starts thickening up. Ensure that your hands are clean if you're using your hands. This is the first time I've tried this recipe using measurements, so I adjusted the milk measurements along the way. As you can see here, I underestimated the amount of milk needed, so I warmed more milk. I ended up using two and a half cups of milk. Once the dough comes together, I continue to knead for another 2 to 3 minutes until the dough stops sticking to my hand and the bowl. At this point, I want a soft but firm dough. This is now ready, so I tidy up the countertop before I proceed. This isn't required to rest, so I transfer the dough onto the countertop and knead for a minute. Then I divide it into two pieces to make it easier to work with. I roll out the first piece and cut it into small pieces. As I do this, my oil is heating on the stove on low heat. This helps speed up the process. I roll out the dough ensuring that it is not too thin, then I cut it into small pieces like this. This 
this is how I like mine but you can cut yours into any desired shape. Just ensure that they are small in size. The oil is now hot so I start frying the vichette. I cook them on medium to low heat. I drop the dough pieces into the oil to fry but ensure that you don't overcrowd the pan because it slows down the cooking and doesn't give enough room for the vichette to turn properly and cook evenly. While these are frying, I will check on them regularly while I finish cutting the rest of the dough. Fry the vichette until they are golden brown. Then remove them onto a paper towel lined plate to drain any excess oil. Repeat this process until you finish frying. Once done, allow the mandazi bites to cool, then serve with your favorite beverage. You can store the rest in an airtight container for up to 3 to 4 days. These are now ready to serve and as I mentioned earlier, it can be served with or without icing sugar. They are soft on the inside and crunchy on the outside. For more of my recipes, subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you're notified every time I post a new video. Kindly give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. For comments and suggestions, please write them down in the comment section below. This is all I have for you today. Bye for now and see you all in my next video.